Hey guys, it's the Orchid Prince here. Um, wanted to go show you some stuff. Oh. Xbox pause. I love my Xbox. But anyway, I uh, want to show you a few things. Um, as you know, if you watched my last video, I had just gotten a um, greenhouse, a temp temporary greenhouse until I got everything situated. Um, just wanted to show you a little bit more of the house and everything. There's Barnaby. He's eating right now. And then there's the babies. I've got three little baby chameleons that uh, Pet Supermark gave me for free because I had a chameleon. Uh, if y'all did not know, uh, once I do have my built-in greenhouse, Barnaby will be my greenhouse buddy. So I'm going to plant a few trees. I think I'm going to, hopefully it's big enough. Um, but I'm going to have a vent in the back, which I'm going to grow a chocolate tree. Well, I hope that works out. Um, but as of right now, I've just got this temporary thing that I got at Big Lots, which if you did not watch the video and you're just watching this one for the first time, I do recommend that. Well, not only do I recommend watch my prior videos, but to go to Big Lots right now. Um, Today is the 29th of July, and right now at Big Lots, they have all of their garden stuff 50% off. Um, so I was able to get a walk-in greenhouse for $34. So, um, oh, real quick, before we go outside, I just want to show you the progress of this. This is my Fred Clark Yard After Dark SVO Black Pearl. Oh, oh. I can't believe that just happened on video. Anyway, I'm gonna need to stabilize it. Oh my God, I hope it's okay. It looks fine, it didn't, it didn't break off. Fingers crossed, oh my God. I'd be so mad, I've been waiting for that sucker to bloom ever since I got it. Um, I thought it was gonna be actually a new growth because the, the fronds had actually been falling off a little premature as I would think uh, because it was during active growth of my baby catacetums. Um, oh my god, I cannot believe that just happened. But anyway, uh, if you watch my prior videos, as you can see, this is my temporary shade house, but I just recently put together... I'm so happy about my temporary greenhouse. Another one fell. Another one bites the dust. Okay, there's already a fly in here. There's two flies in here. Oh my God, I shouldn't have left it open. But it started raining um, really hard. But bright and sunny out, just wanted to rain hard. So as I was putting it together, um, tying all the little things down, I realized I was standing in an ant bed. So if you look, I've got an organic uh, media, not media, talk about media way too often on here, but I've got an organic insecticide, which I used at my last place and it worked pretty good. Um, it's organic insect killer granules for lawns and landscaping. It gets rid of ticks and everything. Um, so I actually went over there and doused everything over there with it. Um, it does not harm plants or animals. So I'm happy about that. I got it at Home Depot, I believe. But um, yeah, they started biting my little feet. And they're the little ones. But um, anyway, if you, oh no, my bromeliad, it's dead. See, this is what happens when you move and you don't have a place to put everything yet. You put things in places and they fall down. Um, I mean, I've had my orchids in many different places. I had some uggles come over and help me move and um by the way that's non-orchid folk for you uh reference to harry potter muggles uggles anyway um <laughs> someone thought that it would be nice if my orchids got a little more sun so they actually put them in full sun which many of my catacetonies got burnt um i've got i mean look at this 
right here. Got burnt with a flower spike on it. Got some of my babies down here. A lot of the fronds are turning already um, just from movement. Just different placements of where they were. There's a lot of mosquitoes out here. But anyway, um, I have a feeling that everything's going to go very well here. Um, if you look, there's where the greenhouse is. It's the shadiest area because I didn't want to go out and get shade cloth. Um, cause I, I, I only want to buy shade cloth when I know the measurements of my actual greenhouse, but that gets hardly any sun. If any sun, it's filtered, uh, from the big oak tree back there. Um, I'm just scared of snakes and I'm afraid that they might be living around there. So hopefully that insect stuff will keep the snakes out too. But, uh, why to show you that I was actually making this video cause I was very proud that my friend Clark Yara was in and well it was in spike I hope I really hope that I did not just destroy that spike but um, some that are doing very well this was one if you looked if you watched my prior videos this is one that I actually received from uh, someone who died I think I told you about that in my last video but the other one is still kind of brown but this one used to be all red um, they had it sitting out and just Sun uh -oh. but everything else on this actually looks good I've got a couple of new growths coming in um, yeah it looks good so as you can tell there's the palm fronds I think I did tell you about that in my last video but I'm very excited I'm very excited to get everything where it needs to be I need to move all those orchids into that I don't think they're all gonna fit I might actually have to go back over to big lots and get another one and just put it on the other side over there in the shade as well um, I think that's the best thing to do but uh, everything's going good I guess that's it well this is a short video but I just wanted to give you a heads up tell you what it looks like to get a $34 walk-in greenhouse and I think for 34 bucks I mean, look at that sucker. It's actually pretty big. Um, I walk in, my head clears. It's got plenty of shelves, some on the bottom, uh, which I will be putting some orchids down there. I know it's really low, but I think that they will do fine. So um, it's very easy to assemble. I'm going to trap those bee bugs in there. Let's just see how it goes. But um, it zips up and down. So uh, it will hold in the humidity pretty well. Look at that. And then you just zipper it down. And that keeps all of the little buggies out. So I think it looks pretty darn good. Did I flip it? I didn't flip it around. Okay, there we go. But um, there's a lot of things that we'll be doing in my backyard. Uh, I've got plenty of space to work with. Uh, as you can tell already, there's a hammock going over there. We've got a fire pit. I'm going to build another little fire thing uh, to put some of my cast iron stuff that I use for cooking. As you know, I'm a chef as well. And I kind of want to build an outdoor uh kind of kitchen but i want it to be like a mayan kitchen um i want to have a pit barbecue which i don't even eat meat but i still want a pit barbecue um that i can actually make non in i mean i've got so many things that i want to do i just don't have the money for it yet but anyway this has been the orchid prince i hope you liked this video if you like my videos uh, want to see more I will be doing some instructional videos soon keep in mind all of my instructional videos are just the way that I prefer to do things they are not I'm not telling you how to do it or anything I'm just giving you the way I do things so um, I will be repotting I recently went to Ikea let me just show you went to Ikea and got Oh, they're out in the shed. But I got some hydration pebbles, so I will be repotting um, almost almost all of my orchids into um, into hydration pebbles. 
So I want to see how that goes. I will keep some out. I think I will be growing my catasetni types in more of a sphagnum moss. But um, all the other ones, yeah, I'm going to put them in hydration pebbles. I just think that it's a lot easier. Um, the, the, the way that they distribute the water is great. There's no puddles of water, and it helps with overwatering and underwatering, which around here in Florida, you need. But I think the greenhouse is going to be good. It's going to keep the humidity up. I will be getting a fan to go in there as well just to have the good air circulation because, as you do know, um, orchids are considered air plants. They are epiphytic, um, almost like a tillandsia, which I've got plenty of tillandsias to start putting up. Um, but they do grow in trees, and they need the airflow to actually get the nutrients. So um, I will be getting... A fan to go out there and I found out that I have an oak tree on my property it's a nuisance oak tree it's not one of those really cool ones and it doesn't have any resurrection fern on it but I'm hoping I can introduce it to some so I will be trying that and I will I think coming up soon actually I'll wait until they get out of dormancy but I'm gonna start putting some of my catasetni types in the trees because I want to see if they can get established uh, but if, if there are any videos that you want to see, uh, please post it below. Make sure to hit like, make sure to subscribe. Tell your friends, your families, your neighbors, those you love and those you hate um, to come subscribe to my channel. And once I get fully established, I might just do another orchid giveaway because it seems like y'all like orchid giveaways. I don't know why, but it seems like you do. So um, make sure to check out my future videos just in case you get a chance to win a new orchid. I haven't decided which one I'm going to give away yet. But anyway, this is the Orchid Prince, and I'm out.